All right, so today we are checking out the Amazon Choice Best Headphones. How much do these go for, Nathan? They are 150 American. So these are the Audio Technica ATH M50X professional monitoring headphones. I've owned a pair of these for a while now. I had a limited edition one, not the X version, just the M50. And I have to say they are pretty good. Now these do have a couple of cool features and a couple of cool things that come inside of the box. Notably, it comes with three cables inside of the box. One of them is a 1.2 to three meters coiled cable, a three meter straight cable, as well as a 1.2 more portable style cable, as well as a quarter inch adapter for them. Usually that's what professionals use. Another cool thing is that they, the head, actually the headphones mm -hmm. swivel 90 degrees. Oh. A lot of them don't swivel that much, so if you put them on, they could feel a little bit awkward. It's, it's perfect. actually very cool. When you like put them on your table, or like if you're resting them on your shoulder, you know, they fold down, they like mm -hmm. lie flat. Easy for transportation so they don't get damaged. Yep. It also comes with a nice carrying pouch. It's like some faux leather type of thing. Probably. The drivers good. are 45 millimeters, and it has an impedance of 38 ohms. That's pretty good. That's still mobile cell phone drivable, which is nice. Now, we will be using an iPhone for this test, so that does mean we require a dongle. These are not wireless, these are wired. Now, let's get into it. I'm pretty excited. The ATX M50. Nope. Oh my goodness. My bad. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. That's nice. It's like a nice greeting card. Interesting. So inside of this little tiny cutout, you have- This is the, the bag, pouch. which is very cool, or the pouch, sorry. Mm -hmm. Here's some packaging. Yep. Headphones That's it. themselves. It's in kind of like a re recyclable material, which yes. I think is very good for the environment. And here are all of the cables. These are the coiled one, this is the straight one, and this is the portable one that we'll be using today. So I do believe that the bag itself is made from the same faux leather type material that the ear cuffs are actually made of. So, just a fun fact. Kind of feels like it. It is. It is the exact same full leather. They're very plush, they're nice and soft. Do they fit around the head, Nathan? This is the question. Right, left. Oh, not bad. They are closed back, so it won't bleed as much as, say, an open back studio headphone type of design. Ooh. What about the swivel? You find you use that? Ah, that's pretty cool. Look at that. It may be better on you because you're wearing a t-shirt. Let's get the coiled cable up. I don't want to use this one. We're gonna go fancy. How does it feel? Yeah, I it's pretty convenient. Pretty cool. If you're walking through an airport and and you just want to have them resting, they they fit comfortably. No, it's actually it's a good design. It's a good design. Amazon fun fact. Yes. How many reviews do you think this got? Oh. See, we want to know your opinion in the comments below. I think 20,000? 20,000. How many I mean, of those do you think are good? I have no idea. Oh. What do you think, how many five-star reviews do you think they got out of that 20,000? Out of 20,000? I'd say they got 18,000. Interesting. Well, you have to keep watching until the end of the video to find out exactly how many we got. We might actually read some for you too, some good ones and some bad ones, because yeah. those are sometimes very funny. So here's a quarter inch adapter. It does just screw on. It's nice and secure. This way you don't lose it inside of your professional soundboard. These do just clip in. The one thing I like about this is that it is a detachable cable. So for whatever reason, you have a rabbit, you have a cat, it's gonna eat your cable. You can replace it. It does come with two replaceable ones, which is nice. Another thing that's pretty cool is when you put it in, you can see that the jack here has grooves so that yeah. you know it's not gonna pull out. Yeah, so it sort of locks into place. It's nice, it's like good to know. So it's so, in there for good now. Nathan, sound so, quality. Can we, You're not uh, gonna get blasted. Make sure that it's not blasted like what, that one What, am I you? This guy was like, in our last headphone review, LinkedIn bio, um, he was like, yeah, it's only at two volume. <laughs> Put it on the earbuds. Because it was. It, it was, was a two not. on the ringer. Yeah, the ringer. And then you plugged it in. And then, surprise. All right. Which is the right, how do you tell? It says right here on the side. Oh yeah, there we go. In terms of build quality, it has the faux leather padding as well as a hardened plastic. It feels nice. It feels secure. The squishiness on your head, how much it clamps down is pretty good. An issue that I sometimes have with headphones is over time, if you're wearing them for a while, mm -hmm. the top part can be, like the top of your head becomes very uncomfortable oh, just yeah. from it compressing down on it. Here is our go-to song. It is called Not That Brave. So right now it's about, it's about like a third of the way. How does it sound? I mean, he's jamming. So I think normally, I would probably keep it at about that level. 
He's wearing a Not a half, a few notches below half. That's comfortable for me. He doesn't know he has headphones on. He's just screaming. And if we want to go to full volume. What was that? What'd you say? Anyways. What, what were you saying? He said if we want to go to full volume. Yeah. How does it sound? Ooh. That's like speaker. Give me these. Give me these. That's loud. That is pretty loud, actually. No, these are... Oh yeah, that would have been super loud. <laughs> You're welcome. No, they sound good. They are good quality headphones. It is sound isolating, so it's it's pretty hard for me to hear Nathan right now, even with the volume only at fifty percent. Can you hear what I'm? Can you hear what I'm saying? Like, what's the what's the bleed? It's very very faint. I don't hear very much. Like the the previous ones that we looked at mm -hmm. earlier, the earbuds, you could definitely tell even at a volume like that what he was listening to, but here. You can't tell it at all unless you're like this close to him, which that'd be kind of awkward to do Let's in public. Try that. Uh, what you doing there, bud? All right, play it. That's not bad for headphones. And that's max volume too. A normal person who wants to keep their hearing when they're older would listen to it like that. They're very good headphones. I can see why they're Amazon's best choice. Now, if you do not fancy the coiled cable, it does get kind of annoying. There is a shorter one, like we said before. This is more for portable. Listening. Yeah, these ones are I think more for like in studio sessions, yeah. right? Yeah, so it's like someone's listening to it, they want to walk around a room, you know, they're listening to the beats. That's what, sort of what this cable is for. No, it's, it's good. Do you like them? I personally like them a lot. For $150, if I'm looking for quality headphones, mm -hmm. I think I, do, I like these as well. I would probably purchase these ones. Another really beneficial thing about these headphones versus some other at the same price point is that these are around ear, not on ear. Yeah. I really don't like the ones where they rest on top of your ear. Because over time, that becomes very uncomfortable. Especially, I don't have earrings, but if somebody has earrings, Ooh. that can give you a very uneasy feeling. Mm -hmm. Your ears will get hot and red. But back to our fun fact, Nathan. Yes, sir. How many reviews did this receive on Amazon and how many five stars did so it receive? You said 20,000, right? It's 20,000 reviews. Okay, so total reviews was... Let us know if you guys were close to. Let's get to it. The anticipation's building. It's not anticipation. 5,279 reviews. Oh, well, I kind of... Not as many as you said, but... I kind of overshot that. With 78% of those being five-star. That's pretty good. Okay, so I said 80... What did I say? 90% would be five-star? That's a pretty good track record. 78% five-stars. That means there's nothing wrong with them. It's comment time! So, we're gonna be reading out comments from Amazon. One, that is a five-star review that is highly regarded. You know, something that was helpful as well as a one-star review. To sort of get very, both very poor reviews. So we're gonna start with a five-star. Yes. This was from uh, someone who purchased it, verified purchase named Sheer. They said, I had a pair of the ATH M50s for roughly four years before a recent trip to Vegas Relatable. where they stopped working. I use them every day at my home PC for my primary means of sound output. Anywhere from four to 12 hours a day. So remember what we were saying oh earlier about becoming gosh. uncomfortable, resting on your head like that? Obviously, that is not a factor with these Four ones. to 12 hours of listening. Every single day for four years. They work perfectly and these are even better than the MTH or ATH M50. These are the 50Xs. Bass heavy profile, isolated stage, blocks exterior sound fairly well, but not entirely. So it's noise limiting, not noise canceling. Mm -hmm. The M50X has my has a detachable cable, which may have prevented my M50S from breaking if they had that feature. So she was saying she had the M50s, but they broke when she was in Vegas. So she purchased these as an upgrade. If I had to make any recommendations, it would be to source a pair of Velour ear pads instead of using the full leather ones that they have here. They change the sound stage a bit and they reduce the sweat factor in, in the order of a magnitude. Yeah, one thing that a lot of audiophiles do is they do customize the actual cushions that are on your own headphones. You can buy aftermarket ones. These can come off quite easily, I believe. I don't really want to try it, but if you do just pull hard on them like that, they will come off which is a nice touch. The number one worst review. Maybe not the number one, but one of them. Uh-oh. Here we go. Six, oh wait. It says don't buy, oh my gosh. Garbage. There's there's a few poor reviews. I'm trying to look for the one that most people found helpful. I think um, only four people found each one helpful. Yeah, nice. so we'll read the, the top one. All right. This is, it doesn't say name. <laughs> four people found this helpful. For high fidelity audio, the build is extremely cheap. 
I was a faithful audio tech customer, even loyal. Mm. I wouldn't dare taint my ear, my ear holes with <laughs> these Chinese and cheap BPA full plastics. I rave about audio technica for everyone and anyone, not anymore. For the ATH M50X, either yeah. has a faulty wiring or impedance issues that causes all noise to shift to the left side of the headphones. We didn't, we didn't experience that at all. Did you? I, I mean, I wasn't looking for that. The sound quality changes more sporadically than. <laughs> Someone had a bad Monday. Than a kleptomaniac with ADHD at Col at Coles. I spent nearly two hundred dollars on good forsaken lem on on forsaken lemon, and I can't even have lemonade. Well, I mean, that was a hundred review. Dollars. Uh, Audio Technica does have a wide range of headphones, ranging from average consumers to more professional variants, as well as mass drop items. But I didn't find a problem with them. I don't consider these cheap Chinese plastic. I mean, it is a hardened plastic, which is what you expect. It is only one hundred fifty dollars. Like we we've seen more expensive headphones. Mm -hmm. Maybe she also got a faulty pair because she said all of the audio goes to the left headphone, and we didn't really know. Yeah, we didn't that. get that. We we found an even distribution on both sides, so that's kind of strange. I mean, I, I'm curious to see if she returned them. Maybe I would got assume another that pair, she did. Or maybe she was just really mad. Uh, We're dying to see what headphones you guys use. Let us know in the comments below if you guys have a pair of these or another variant or something better. I don't know. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed and subscribe if you're new.